Hello, welcome back to Nicklands' Comic Corner, Classics Last Nine Classics, Episode 106, Double Shot 47. 47? 48. 48, yes. Two books like usual. Fear Itself, Harris for Hire, and Spider-Man 2099, Volume 1. I'll first start with this book, Harris for Hire. Well, Fear Itself, Harris for Hire. This collects issues 7 to 12 of Volume 3. It's written by Danny Ebbett and Andy Lenning, the guys who wrote Guardians of the Galaxy. This book is pretty good. There's a few different stories in here. Uh, one basically where the Paladin teams up with um, this, of course, set Raft defends the previous arc, which is Control. Yeah, and apparently Heroes for Hire in this particular incarnation, this book, is a non-profit organization. But yeah, the Paladin gets paid because Misty Man pays him. Okay. And it's also heavily implied that uh, Misty Knight is in a sexual relationship with Paladin, which I don't really understand why. Yeah, and Sheen Paladin is pretty much starting all 12 issues of this book. Uh, basically, for issue 6 to 8, uh, he teams up with Spider-Man to, of course, that, of course, the Scorpion shows up in here as well. This stops some drug called Hook. It's a Lantian drug. Yeah, that's what it seems like where they spend issues 6 to 8 and issue 12 dealing with, and of course... Issue 12, they also meet up with Namor, the Submariner. And of course comes the Fear Itself tie-in, which, by the way, is actually really good, better than the actual miniseries. And of course, this tie-in, this coincides with what happens in the pages of Invincible Iron Man and um, Uncanny X-Men. This basically coincides with that, and along with basically what happened in the pages of Thunderbolts. Um, yeah, where... Uh, Basically, for this incarnation, they had them basically team up with, um, I mean, they had, uh, Electra, Shroud, and, um, who was the other person? Oh, yes, the Gargoyle. Yeah, the guy from Defenders. Uh, they team with them to stop a mass break. And, of course, Purple Man shows up in this. Apparently, he's trying to assemble his own team. Now, Basically, this book just ends, just ends with uh, Misty Knight and uh, Paladin on a rooftop, just talking, having a drink, stuff like that. It just like this book ends in the whimper. It's like it's like you could be told more with this. I like the whole drug story, especially involving Namor because of all of his Lantis. Get credit for that much. Otherwise, you could, you could tell more with this. But um, that's the only letdown about this book. It's fact you, you could have told more than just doing 12 issues. Instead of canceling and relaunching as a fortune mini series called Bill Ones for Hire. Uh, so I gave this book an 8.5. I just really thought there was more story to be told for this one. But it's still good. Can't yeah, cram for the writers doing that. Now we got Spider 299 Volume 1. And this is written by Peter David. Yes, I know for a fact that I was brought back just this year, just a few months ago. But this is the this is the original volume done by the original creators Peter David and Rick Lardy and of course Kelly Jones has some stuff in this book too. There are a few different stories in here, like the first three issues dealing with his origin story issues, like four and five is a two parter. Yeah, the artwork is classic '90s, at least at least is good. Um, of course, Zach Dim shows up in here, the twenty and ninety one, anyways. Yeah. And this is a book recommended for anybody who's a Spider-Man fan, much less if they want to basically, if they want to get like anything, anything really new. If, if you want to get, if you want to get something before, if, if you want to get into Spider-Man 2099, I would recommend starting with this volume first. This book, and of course, this volume is a volume to come soon. I was just starting with this particular volume of Spider-Man 2099 first, so you can understand who this character is. And um, he doesn't hear David does explain his backstory in issue one. But this is a starting point. You should start right here if you want to read Spider-Man 29. Read this book. This book is such a dang good book. There's nothing wrong with this book. There's nothing gross, nothing stupid. So I give this book a 9.5 out of 10. That's how good this book is. Get it. All right, that's it. Next episode is 107. Depends on if I do it today or not. Otherwise, though, that's it. See you next time. Bye.